after a catastrophic event like uh, the genocide against the Tutsi in 1994, it was pretty much chaos. The public health situation is a disaster. And at that time, you know, a big part of the human resource for health have either been killed or also free out of the country. So the first transformation really started with the government taking up responsibility to rebuild the public health system. From 2000 to 2008, 2010, the Ministry of Health and the government have been investing a lot in making sure that the poorest among the population is provided access to all the health services that they deserve. So in that work, we have been a key partner. We supported the construction of hospitals and health centers, and we are training the future healthcare providers at the University of Global Health Equity in Borera. UJG provides education for quality service delivery in Rwanda, for Rwanda and others. So we are a global institution to educate global young cadre that will be leaders to create health systems across the world with the philosophy of quality care in remote area focused on access for the vulnerable. Our students will have state-of-the-heart education in the clinical practice, plus strategic thinking and social determinant knowledge to make sure that the patient they will have will have the most of the clinical service they will give. Our students need to understand the science, the biology, you know, the medications, but at the same time, the understanding of what it takes at the community level to craft these and tailor these according to the community. Whether you call it social medicine or One Health or look at community interactions or how health and social justice come to be, we don't think it should be an option not to understand these other questions. We are oriented such that our students are patient focused, they are community oriented, and they are globally aware. And we cannot train quality health professionals without a hospital where our patients go to. Students will be coming to the hospital, so we want to give them a high standard experience uh, where they will get any diagnostic capacity that they need to learn from, where they will get a sense of the comprehensive care of patients from medical, surgery, psychological, intensive care, and so forth. So, there is that urgency for us to make sure that we upgrade services in Butaro by adding on ICU services, radiotherapy, and the oncology service, not only for the districts, but for the national level. So we have, for me, three universities. A university with walls in the form of UGHE. We have a university with patients, which is Butaro Hospital. Then we have a university without walls, which is the community. The three of them are very important. We need really a very human-centered uh, experience and we'll continue to push that envelope because that's what every individual deserves. We need more people educated to provide quality care for the vulnerable across the world. UJG is there for that. And we have a hospital that is going to be increased now to be the clinical teaching platform of our university for people to be able to provide such quality care across the world. I really see UGHE as a satellite of light where we are teaching the future Rwandan health professionals to take care of the Rwandan population. Further than that, this is a beacon of light and a satellite for the East African region and for the continent. I think we stand at a very important time in the history of the region and of healthcare. It's an opportunity and a responsibility that as PIH we have, as UGHE we have, as Butaro Hospital we have, and as individuals we have, that we give the baton in the proper way to the next professionals who will be the carers of our world.